Hello everyone, this is Raphael from Fastlane, and today I want to show you how you can make an API call from a Webflow site that loads in data from an external database. So here we are in Webflow. This method can be especially useful if you don't have your data in the traditional Webflow CMS, but rather in an external database that you want to access. To prepare this, I already created a grid with three columns, and I gave the grid the ID cards-container. Inside of the grid, I created a link block element with the class link block, and I put a sample image and a title in there. This sample link block will later be used to populate the grid with all of the data we receive from the database. But we don't want the sample link block to show up in the live site. So we click on the link block and give it a new class called hidden. We can then click on display none so it will not show up on the live side. The next step is now to get some data that we can populate the grid with. For that, we go over to this custom code right here. I will link this in the description below and copy it, go back to Webflow, go into the site settings on the site we are working on, scroll down until we are at the before body tag and copy paste in our code. What this code does is it will make an API call to a specified URL we still need to insert here in a second, then loads the data from this API call and populates the grid with this. To get the URL we can put inside of here, we go over to FastGen. In FastGen we click on templates and we want to choose the get surfboards template. This will create this API route right here and the database containing some surfboard data. As you can see, this is the API route of a get method and it contains a database query that gets all surfboard data from a database and then returns them in the results here. To show you the database really quick, you can see right here in database, it created a new database called surfboards with name, description, price and image in there. For this we will only need the name and image but you can just leave the rest in here. We can go back over to APIs now get surfboards and hit deploy. So the route is deployed now and we can now copy the URL we can see right here. Go back to Webflow and insert the URL where it says insert URL here, paste it in, save the custom code and now we can hit publish and see if this worked. So this looks good, our site is published, let's have a look. And you can see right here, all of our surfboard data is loaded into the page. And of course, this is not limited to loading in some surfboard data from FastGen, but you can make many, many API calls to not only FastGen, but any API that you have access to. It could, for example, be the current weather that gets loaded into the page every single day, or for example, the latest results of your favorite football club. So you can basically use any API in the world that you want to have some data from and load it into your Webflow page. I hope this tutorial was helpful and happy building.